What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Austin Alexander. I put out about three or four videos per week about uh, military stuff, my experiences, vlog style stuff. So hopefully you guys can benefit from my videos and especially this video because I'm going to go over three lies the recruiters tell you just to get you to join the military. So I know some of you active duty people uh, watch my channel and if you feel like something's missing in here, I want you to drop it in the comments. What's one lie or one fib or something that your recruiter exaggerated about just to get you to join. Uh, the reason recruiters do this is because they have a certain quota they have to meet every month. So their quotas can be like super, super random and super, super um, exact. So it'll be like this month we need two African American males going in as an LS or two Caucasian males that pick, um, you know, aerographer's mate or we need an African American female, you know, you know, the, you get the gist. So. These recruiters, not all of them, some of them are prepared to tell you and do whatever it takes to get you into the military. So this video is not targeting any specific recruiters because my recruiter was awesome, Chief T. Well, he's a senior chief now, but he's retired. Um, thanks for everything you've done for me. And of course, this is not bashing the Navy because Lord knows I love the Navy. The Navy has done a lot for me. And um, so I just feel like I want to share this with you guys because it's how I feel within you know my five years of experience. I've heard some of these things. Some of you have been DMing me on Instagram and you're like, hey, my recruiter told me this or my recruiter told me that and I'm just thinking, that is incorrect. So I really wanna set you straight and as always, I don't get paid to make these videos for the Navy. I don't really don't care if you join the Navy or not. It's whatever you think is best for you. Now I do, um, urge people to join the Navy if they're if they ask me you know should I join the Navy you know and they, they kind of give me a background of their life story I'm like yes go for it because I do like the Navy and anyway so so you don't want to hear about that so let's jump into it. three things that recruiters tell you that get you to join the military so number one is you can change your job I hear so many people saying that you know I wanted to go in as an LS but the recruiter told me I should go in as an MA and I can change my job later this is not true. You can't change your job. The only way you'll be able to change your job, there's there's two ways. So the first way is if you get injured, let's say you're going in um, as an MA and in MAA school, you get injured. Like let's say you break your foot and they're like, sorry, um, we can't take you anymore. You have to be in IT or we have to set you back and put you in medical or whatever. So this is a way to change your job if you become disqualified for it. Like um, in my situation, I dipped in as ND, Navy Diver, and um, I was disqualified. I, I didn't pass the pre-dive requisites, so bam, that's how I got to change my job. Uh, I didn't want to, but I was kind of force re-rated. Um, so if you go in, you know, you're an LS, and you're like, man, I really hate this job. I really uh, want to change. You're not going to be able to change. The only, the second way is is if you are coming up to your PRD and you put a packet in to change your rate, which a lot of people don't do this because once they're in and they already learn their job and they already know their job, then they, they kind of want to stay into it because it's it's easier to advance and it's easier to, uh, to get more ahead because you already know it and you're already familiar with it. So it just amazes me. Like uh, people will go into the recruiting stations and be like, man, I really love computers. I want to be in IT. So I went to the recruiter station and the recruiter was like, no, you should be an MA because MAs do IT stuff as well. No, no. Once you have yourself set on a job, you stick with it. You stick with it all the way through MEPS and even MEPS will try to get you to change. They'll be like, are you sure you don't want to be a CT? Are you sure you don't want to be an aerographer's mate? Are you sure you don't want to be an HT? Like, they use so many tactics to persuade you because they also have to fill that quota. Like, the Navy puts out big quotas and their employees or the active duty people that are, are funneling people into the Navy, they have to meet those quotas. So they're pretty much going to do anything and tell you anything to get you to change. So my advice is research by yourself what um, job you want, what you're interested in, and go in there with a strong head and a and like you're for sure that you want to do that because the recruiters and everybody else, they're, they'll try to steer you, steer you away. Yeah, definitely um, don't let them tell you that you can change your job once you get into the Navy because you can't, only under two very special circumstances. Number two, so they're gonna butter up a job as much as they can to make it sound as cool as they can. Like, have you seen the recruiting video on MA on YouTube? Like, 
it shows us like driving th- hardcore like with weapons and stuff and and sometimes we do do that but most of the time to be honest um we sit there and provide security and so it's not always as cool as they make it sound so they can be like uh like let's say if you you walk in there and you have no clue what you want to do you have no interest or whatever you're like i just want to be in the navy and they try to persuade you a job let's say they have three ht billets to fill that month they try to sell you so they'll be like oh you can be a whole technician you'll be redesign, redesigning the uh engineer part of the aircraft carrier that provides you know funneling systems for the entire ship and they're using all these big words and they're they're selling you that you're like oh that's that sounds awesome man that sounds cool i can do that and then you get there and you realize the ht is you know not how they made it sound okay so <laughs> no offense to any of you hts out there or people going in hts i'm just using that as an example of course i never bash a navy rate um so yeah so like ma like i've heard people uh recruiters try to beef ma up all the time and I give you the reality. I, I tell you what I've experienced and what I've done, and that's 100% true. But sometimes they'll be like, yeah, man, as an MA, you will be guarding important admirals, and you will be doing this, and you will be doing that. And that's not always the case, okay? I stood gate in the hot in 130 degree temperature, literally, in Bahrain for six or seven months. You know, a job isn't always as glamorous as they make it sound. So um hope this is making sense for you guys. Number three. The recruiters never mention the bad parts. So they can tell you a story. You can be like, okay, what, is, uh, what does IS do? And you're like, oh, okay. The recruiter's are like, oh, they're providing inf- information security systems on the ship. They provide you know, encrypted networks, blah, blah, blah. I don't really know what ISs do to be exact. So don't, don't judge my perspective. Like they never tell you that uh, you may be standing post for 12 hours at a time. You may be doing this. You may be doing that. You, it may be kind of boring at some point. So of course, the recruiter's never going to tell you about the boring and the, and the bad parts about the Navy. They don't tell you about the trainings that you have to go to. They don't tell you about all the annual sustainment trainings you have to go to, which is like uh, um, you do a lot of computer work online, and every single month you it's due. So you, you're, you're doing it all the time. That's one thing that I think everybody hates about the Navy. And um, so, of course, the recruiter is going to leave out the bad parts. They're never going to tell you the bad parts. The, these three things, the top, top three things that – I've thought about that recruiters tell you and they're going to do, again, they're going to, most of them are going to do whatever it takes. As always, guys, thanks for watching and I really appreciate a thumbs up and I really appreciate your support for my channel. So, guys, I love you and we will see you next time.